Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is March the 6th, 2022. I'm going to show you all another best stock to add to our portfolio right here on tip ranks. Yeah, you guys can see this is the current performance that I am showing you all being fully transparent to show you that you can also do the same thing without the confusion, without thinking that you got to dispel a whole lot of time and looking into technical analysis, fundamental analysis. You just simply look at, need to look at the price chart. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to go through the portfolio that we have right now, because if the stock doesn't look like it's performing the way that it should, we're going to get rid of it, too. So I want to show you how this game is actually supposed to be played in real time. All right. So if you guys like it, hit the like button, save it, and also subscribe here to the channel. Tap that bell notification as well, because you guys can see it. The current success rate of this portfolio that I am doing is at 75 percent. The average return is 5.59%. 12 month return over the last 12 months is 22 and a quarter percent. Year to date right now, this portfolio is up 13.37. Okay, this is simple. This is easy. This should not be complicated to make money in the markets. Now check this out. We're gonna go ahead and look at the, the stocks that's in the portfolio right now. And then if we need to get rid of it, hey, we're gonna get rid of it. If it's not performing the way that it needs to do, I'm not here to hold on to these stocks for hope and wishes. No, if it's not acting right, we need to cut it. All right, so check this out. Let's go ahead and look at the portfolio real quick. You guys can see it's right here. These are the stocks that are currently in the portfolio. And what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and go through these stocks real quick, okay? We're gonna go ahead and look at these stocks. Give me just a moment. Let me pull this up real quick. So let's go ahead and show you all the game since these stocks were added to the portfolio, right? So here it is right here. Okay, let me bring this over to these columns to the left. So you guys can see that Cleveland Eclipse is already up 37%. Cisco with up a quarter percent. We're down on Green Sky, right? That that we're gonna have to pay attention to that, to that particular stock. We're down 4% on Sunlands and we're up 22% right now on XMB. Now let's look at the chart real quick. We're gonna look at Cleveland Cliffs first. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at Cleveland Cliffs. You guys can see that we did add this to the portfolio. This is a very strong stock, right? We're anticipating the market to get some sellers around $24, $25. Cool, we exceeded that. But look at this. We got our area of ultimate price target it's around $28.56. We closed at $25.95. That's 51%, right? That's 37 and a half. Are you going to be greedy to get like another 20% out the market or would you just take this profitability and go? Yeah, I'm going to take it and go. I'm cutting it out. It has done what I expected it to do. Now, it doesn't mean that Cleveland Clips is about to go down. No, because look at this on the three weeks. This stock is still massively strong. We're still showing a whole lot of strength here on the chart for Cleveland Cliffs. As a matter of fact, it might hit that $30 price. But I'm taking the profitability. All right, so let me go back and let's cut that out. Okay. We're going to remove it. Now, if I still see continuational strength into the market in Cleveland Cliffs, then yeah, guess what? We'll come back in and make another play, right? There, there will always be opportunities in the markets. But my only issue and problem is that this is the third time that Cleveland Cliffs has came to this level and got rejected, right? It got rejected there on August the 2nd, 2021. It got rejected again, October the 25th, 2021. Those three weekly price bars. We are now here again. All right. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. Now, the trend is still intact, right? Long term trend. Yeah, this market in Cleveland Clips is still anticipated to go up. We want to see price, though, come down here in order for us to be a buyer into the market in Cleveland Clips. Again, we want to see the price come back down to this trend and test it. If not that, we want to see it come down to around eighteen dollars and fifty cents again. And there will be buyers again there. OK, so let me go ahead and get rid of that now. 
let's move on to the next stock let's see what's going on into the next stock it is going to be Cisco okay we're going to look at Cisco so here we are right now in Cisco I still like it the market hasn't changed uh, regarding where I'm looking for the price to go we added it here like two weeks ago and we're still seeing strength into the market so this stock is still representing buyers this market is still representing itself as wanting to go up so we don't need to come in and change it just doing a quick look like this is how you're able to do a quick look look at the performance of the stock to see whether or not the market is still trying to go up my, my only issue is right here okay right there this is where the market got rejected right there around 58 dollars got to pay attention to that because if weakness comes in there we need to cut the play asap i got a, our first area of taking profits around 60. so if either we see rejection at 58 or 60 we need to be prepared to at least take some profitability out the market but basically we're still seeing the market as trying to go up in cisco so we're not going to change it yet okay now let's go ahead and go back to green sky now this is the one that we might have to get rid of okay you see this we were playing the market strength in green sky since october of 2021 we gave the market time we have given the market ample amount of opportunity to show itself as wanting to be bullish and wanting to go up we even expected it to try to hit 13 dollars we're not seeing that look at this on the three weeks this is another reason why we need to let this play go because if we don't we're going to increase our losses the last couple of three weekly price bars is definitely letting us know that we need to cut this play it is not acting right the market is not bullish we're not getting a follow through right here we should expect it to see follow through in green sky on this three weekly price bar especially following this one and we didn't get it the market is not acting right and when it's not doing that this is how you're able to not be emotional say all right cool it just didn't want to act right i need to cut the play and we will now it might come down to around nine dollars or eight dollars and fifty cent if we see another play there then we'll jump back on board and make the bag but as of right now it's not acting right i don't like it okay so let's go ahead and do that let's get rid of it we're going to take it out of the portfolio and move on all right so let me clean up this chart let's get rid of it right there okay now let's go ahead and look at um, Sunlands STG now this is Sunlands and we've been following this stock ever since um, January the 3rd beginning of this year and we're still seeing strength like the market came all the way down to where we said the buyers needed to appear that gave us confirmation that we're still sitting pretty that this market is still reflecting strength so yeah even though it's taking us a while to let this market hit the bag hit the profitability we're still seeing strength here into the market this is what a buyer's market looks like they're not trying to let the price fall so we're going to continue to follow with that same presumption we're going to continue to expect this stock to go up in price i'm just going to extend it out a little bit further because obviously it's not moving as fast it's not going up fast so we're going to continue to keep watch of it though we're still going to expect the market to continue to go up in sunlands technology don't need to change it this is quick right now let's go ahead and look at sme now we just added this one to our portfolio not long ago right right here maybe about three weeks ago we added it to our portfolio on the 7th of february 2022 the week of this is the spider s p metals and mines etf we knew that the market was giving us strength go back and listen to my last video of us talking about sme right there we knew basically that all of this consolidation of trading that the market was looking to explode to go up it wasn't letting the price fall below 40 dollars that was it nothing more nothing less we hit that 24 percent price target i'm going to let this play go too all right we're going to go ahead and take out the profit that we've gotten out that portfolio right there it's just that simple now we got two stocks in our portfolio right now that we are tracking 
it is Cisco and Sunland's online education. Both of those are still reflecting that they want to go up. We took the bag on two, let one go. Now let me show you the one that we're going to add to the portfolio now. And it is, the ticker symbol is P-U-M-P, -P, all right? This is Pro Petro Holding, yes. You guys can see it. Last trade was around $13.88. From a weekly perspective, this market is in an uptrend. Are we surprised given what's going on into the world? No, we're not. So we're going to first of all, follow the trend. This is where the buyers are letting us know that they are coming into the market. They're not letting this price fall below this trend. All right. So we can continue to follow the increase in price for Pro Petro. Now we got that. The next thing that I like to see is that this market in Pro Petro has confirmed this area as support. Okay. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Right there around $10.89. You might can see a little bit better right around this area. Because right here, the market in Pro Petro was acting as support back in 2017. Even here in 2018, the market did not fall below this horizontal line. And we just confirmed it here on February the 18th, 2022, right there. So now, how high do you think the price is gonna go though? Right? Back here, March 5th, 2021, price got rejected and Pro Petrol came all the way back down. When I show you the three weekly time frame, I'm not suspecting that $14 is gonna be a problem in the market in Pro Petrol. Okay, look how strong the market is over the last two, three weekly price bars right here. We got a very widespread higher. We started the last three weeks in Pro Petro going down, but the market ended up closing at the high of the bar. So how high do you think the market's going to go now? Well, I'm looking around 16 first, then the second level is going to be around 18. Okay. From a monthly perspective, we're still seeing the strength here into the market. Okay. So if we're looking for the price to go up towards $16, all right. Let's see what we got in terms of percentages. Okay. That's about 15%. We could grab the bag in Pro Petrol and get 16% out the market. All right. The next level is going to be up here. I'll say towards like $17.50, $18. So, what we're going to do, we're going to follow the market and we're going to play the bullishness into this particular stock until we see price break $11. Okay especially as long as price holds trend. So I like the fact that Pro Petro is holding $11 and $12. We got that area as support. As a matter of fact, I'm bringing it up here because this is where the support area is now. So let's say we do break $12 to the downside, then we'll definitely have to come in and reevaluate how strong this particular stock is. First area price price target for us to look for the market to go is right here around 16. So let me identify that. Okay, because I want you all to see that as well too. We're going to look for the market in Pro Petrol to try to hit $16. If it happens throughout next week, then take the bag, right? Because I don't come through and show this portfolio all the time. So definitely, if it happens, I'm going to cut the play. You might not even see it happen, but just know if it hits $16, we might need to go ahead and let that play go. And just take the profit okay so this is it we're going to add this one to the portfolio now and before we do after we do we're going to look at what the analysts are thinking about this stock even if they're following it they might not be following it so let's go ahead and drop what 100 shares it's recorded you guys can see um 
$13.88 was the last price up here at the top of the screen, $13.88, okay? Now, let's take a look at the analysts first, all right? Let's see what they think. Right now, we only got four analysts looking at this stock, four, that's it. Two buys, two holes. Now, the highest price target for one of the analysts is $18. You guys can see that I'm not looking for pump to go that high anyway. I got $16 first as I was looking for the market to go. And then I got $17.50 as the next area high for Pro Petro. Okay. Now, four days ago, Barclays, he only has one star. <laughs> 42% successful rating. Average return, he's down 3.10%. He has a whole rating. Steven, 12% return, has about 48% success rate. It's looking for it to go up to 13. So he already hit his price target. So now, what do you all think? This is what they're looking at. You guys can see what I'm thinking about this particular stock, about where price is going to go. Now I want you all to hit me up and tell me what you think. All right, I'm done. Questions, comments, as always, let me know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.